Hi, it's great to be with you. Uh, thank you for all the prayers and support and work undertaken by so many whilst I was on study leave. I've come back early to be uh, with us all together here and it's the right place to be, uh, though we're in uncertain times. Now I've written uh, a letter to you all, which many of you will have received by email, uh, but it's on our website along with many other resources. And I would encourage you to check out the website and read that letter if you've not had the chance yet. And do look at the many other resources that are there, which includes a, a daily prayer book for us to use together, which can be printed uh, or used online. And from this Sunday, we'll have our Sunday service online for us to share in together. And of course, uh, there are still um, other resources, including past sermons there to connect with. Do keep connected with each with God and keep connected with each other. Keep connected with your neighbours. This is an opportunity for us to be the church, loving God, each other and our neighbours, even with the restrictions we face. And do contact Matt or myself via email or phone if there are things that we can do to, we can do to help each other. In the meanwhile, I'd like to lead us in prayer. And so let us pray for our church family, our communities and the world. Father God, thank you that you are our present help in times of trouble. Thank you that you do not abandon us. Forgive us for our failures and pour out your living water upon your church and flood the nations with your grace. Grant strength to us for today. Grant peace to those who are afraid and help us to all know you, the God who saves. In this time of insecurity, Good Shepherd, lead us to quiet waters and green pastures for the restoration of our souls, that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we would fear no evil. Give wisdom to the nations of this world and their leaders. Have mercy on the poor, the lonely and all who suffer. And may we see justice and mercy delivered. Father, grant us all hope and a sure knowledge of your glorious kingdom now and forever. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us and those whom we love both now and forever. Amen.